125. Again, I am repeating. The number is 125. Corona virus is spread in 125 countries of our world at this moment. And today is 15th March 2020. As on today, World Health Organization data is telling that coronavirus is spread 125 countries in this world. Currently 1,50,000. Currently 1,50,000 people are affected. I mean confirmed case of coronavirus. And out of that, nearly 5,000 people died. Percentage is telling that 3 to 4 people are dying out of coronavirus attack out of 100 confirmed diagnosed coronavirus case. So 3 to 4 percent it is coming. And again, that is also important to know that this 3 to 4 percent people, more or less above age group 60 years and old, they are dying more than 90 percent. So 90 percent people are from age group 60 years and above. Below that, they are more or less surviving. 10 percent is falling below 60 years, they are surviving the attack. But difficulty is for those persons who are above 60 years of old. This is all about coronavirus, which is spreading rapidly throughout the world. But Rapid when it's spreading throughout the world, country to country, one country, number is increasing constantly. Europe is devastating at this moment. But another positive news is China. Yesterday, that is 14th March, only 11 new cases were confirmed in China. The number, the daily confirmed case, the number is now decreasing in China. That means they are controlling the disease. And it gives us a hope. One time in this earth, this coronavirus attack will be controlled. Let's know now, what is coronavirus? What is corona? What is virus? Many terminologies are playing uh, in our mind. Okay, let's just know now what is coronavirus. Let me explain what is coronavirus. And I want to explain coronavirus with the help of a tomato. Uh, just I managed from my kitchen and a few few matchsticks. Okay, these two uh, with the help of these two things, I want to explain what is coronavirus. But before that, let, let us understand what is virus. Uh, human body. First of all, don't uh, let's not go to virus. Uh, human body. My body. My body is made up of cells. Billions of cells. Crores of cells. My body is made up. Now, each cell is having a dimension. Length, breadth and height. So, it occupies certain space. In, in, that, is, that is all about my body. Uh, but, but there are smaller things in the world also. Uh, which is smaller than our cell, that is the bacteria. One bacteria normally one tenth of our cell, volume wise, one bacteria is one tenth of our cell. Uh, so, uh, the popular examples of bacteria, tuberculosis bacteria, popular example is uh, typhoid bacteria. The bacteria normally causes a lot of disease in our body. So, one bacteria dimension is one tenth normally of one human cell. But virus is again one tenth of one bacterial cells cell so so we understand the virus it is very very small very very small it is really one hundredth of one human cell or one tenth of one bacterial cell this is this is virus which is very very small and virus within when virus comes and attack the cell then only it it is live and when virus is outside the cell, it is just dead. It will not increase its number when the virus is outside, uh, outside of any cell. When it will be invading one cell, uh, then only it, it can invade bacteria, it can invade human cell. Then only the number of virus is increasing within the cell. So this is the property of virus. And coronavirus is such a kind of virus. If, if I give example, uh, how it looks really, uh, Corona, the word Corona comes from Latin a word, a word, means really crown, crown, crown means Corona. Uh, this is, this is the Latin word. Now, uh, suppose 
this is the virus uh, body and outside the virus body so match sticks here is nothing but crown so uh, and this crown is made up of protein so really coronavirus will be looking like this I, I can add more match sticks this is the structure of one coronavirus and this crown is made of protein and uh, the surface, uh, the outside surface, the tomato outside surface is made up of lipid or fat or oil kind of substance. In very easy language you can tell oil kind of substance. So this is the structure of one coronavirus. So that's why uh, when coronavirus is attacking human, so first of all it may come in our hand. So that's why uh, doctors are telling that wash your hands with soap. What soap will do? If we can understand this why, so probably we will be motivated much uh, to, to wash our hands with soap. Uh, the way doctors are telling or World Health Organization is telling to do us. So whenever we are putting soap solution, obviously the coronavirus is being also exposed with soap solution. And soap is a base and it will, it will react with the fatty part or lipid part or oily part above the uh, virus. And it will really melt that fatty part. In that way, the virus virus cell will be will be dead, or it will be devastated, or it will be destructed. So that's why. So we need to wash our hands thoroughly with uh, soap solution. Okay. Now, when we are washing our hands with soap solution, there there must be a minimum contact time. So soap solution I just put on my hands, I just uh, washed my hands within a second. So uh, then, then the real soap will not work efficiently on the surface of the virus. So the minimum contact time is required, that is 20 to 30 seconds. When soap solution will be for 20 to 30 seconds, it will be in touch with the lipid surface. Then only it will be able to dissolve this lipid surface. Then only the virus will be killed. So contact time is very, very important because virus will be there on our skin. So if proper contact time with the soap is not there, so I, I, I can wash my hands with soap within five seconds, but virus will be as it is. It will not kill the virus. So washing the hands for 20 to 30 seconds are very, very important.